Hi guys, welcome to my Warlock run of this week's Prestige Nightfall. Uh, I'm going to be using Voidwalker. Cause I, I haven't used Voidwalker in ages, so I'm going to be using Voidwalker and I'm using the bottom tree of the subclass. I'm using a Masterworked Better Devils, Masterworked Arc Mananen, and a Void Curtain Call. I'm also using Luna Factions because I'm on a Warlock, why wouldn't I use them? And the modifiers I've got on this strike is Void Singe, Heavyweight, Momentum, and extinguish so when you get in i always come the right hand route i take out that scorpius turret the first one you come to bypass all the ads make it to the bottom level of this wall take out the scorpius tanks right and uh, scorpius tanks scorpius turrets right and left of the portal then i can operate in that area without having to worry about a heavy machine gun mowing me down and then i, j I always try and put a rocket on that boss that time he managed to get away and when i actually kill him you see he had nothing left if you can hit him pretty dead on he's dead and then you're just looking for two phalanxes if you can kill some of the cabal without it being too pressurized as well kill those and then the two cabal that were next to him and that will open the portal and you can go through normally it takes me about 90 seconds that's that's an average time now about 90 seconds to open that portal and and then you're in the infinite forest which is rng because it's random don't bush jump if you don't have to but you've got momentum on so with momentum will, sa momentum will save you a lot in this run once you get to the end of the infinite forest it's basically you're going to look at look out for the four four snipers take them first and then go at the ads you know at well basically at, at your leisure now this is a 12 and a half minute run it's pretty good for a warlock I didn't one phase the boss. I'm not going to go for a one phase because you still have to fight through the, that room and then the next room. And So what's the point? I just put one rocket on in each room on him. I never even stopped too much to do it. It probably took me an extra 30, 40 seconds uh, to do the rest of the, the run. So I will. I don't mind doing one phases if that kind of, there's a point to doing it. But this, there really isn't. There isn't really a point to one phase them. So my, my channel... Is, is about helping people, helping people learn how to do these things. And don't walk before you can run. That's, that's really good advice when it comes to Nightfalls. Learn the mechanics of the Nightfall before you start to find, you know, find different ways to get past certain things. And that's what this channel is. This channel is your first steps and, you know, repeatable guides on how to beat this stuff. So, obviously, the DFA is dropping from this Nightfall, so... If you're a, if you mean a warlock, uh, the one phase is it, it can be. I, I actually, I reckon it's it's not. I'm not saying it's not repeatable. It's just I don't think you would do that run, and there'll be more times than not that you won't get it because of the movement of the boss, or he could just get his his shots off at you and kill you. There's there's tons of ways that it won't be repeatable. This is a very repeatable strategy. So, and. I have it on very good authority. A friend of mine who's had the DFA quite a few times told me that it took him 30 odd runs to get it, and never once did he get the 60,000, which was the old threshold for this. So it's not score related, it's not score based. Uh, it's just how many times you do it, it's just RNG. So I hope this run helps anybody on Warlocks that's, that's wanting to, to actually farm for the DFA. You could get about four of these done an hour. You know, and that's that's pretty good return for a prestige nightfall. And yes, there 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 actually is a quicker method for one part of it, but for the purpose of the, of, of, of the way that I do my videos, you, there's a chance you could die doing it. And I always try and do my runs flawless. It's a very good strategy. I just don't like dying in my videos, so that's just me. Sorry. So if you know if you're interested in a repeatable strategy, that's I think this is a pretty pretty high quality strategy then you're in the right place. It sounds really bad. I don't mean that other ones aren't high quality. I just mean this is quite a good quality run. I'm still a little bit smarting from uh, some uh, a single comment that I had on a video, uh, my last video, talking about how I didn't actually show how to farm for the DFA, but it was a nightfall guide. So how didn't I, how didn't I show how to farm for it? Some people, I don't know. Some people are just a nightmare. So, once you take, you know, once you feel confident that you've took enough ads, and what I would mean by that is, 
the way I always do it is there's no ads waiting for me up on this platform. There will be ads that want to come after you that jumped off the platform, but if there's none actually on the platform, that's when I come up because you've only got to kill one or two and then you're through. This next section, when you come out of this next portal, you can just skip by this. If you're on a Titan, you can, if you've got the line rampant, you can jump straight from, as soon as you get to the edge, you can jump. But Warlocks, and uh, Warlocks can, I think, can do it. But Hunters need to go from where I jump from. You know, and I, I kept it in here to show Hunters exactly where to jump from. Which is, you jump up, you run, jump down, run, across, run here on the right-hand side, forgetting all the ads. Then you jump up on this little bit of stone, the edge of the kind of runway, and run off that tip of that concrete, and you'll make this jump no problem. The Hunter makes it, makes it as well. So... Once you go around this corner, there's two snipers here. It's advisable to just stomp and take them out. I've done about seven or eight runs of this, just trying different strategies. And that's the first time I actually got shot. But if you're on solar burn, that's enough. You could die there, so it's not worth it. Take those snipers out. And then take the right-hand route, because there's no ads. So you get... And it's actually a faster route. Uh, and that'll take you to the next section. Now, this... This next section we're going to get to, this is where we do mo the bulk of our battling. I think it took me like six and a half minutes to get here, which is pretty good. If I'd have ran past this and went at the boss, I could have done this in under eight minutes. But like I say, I, I don't know. I like, I, I'm showing you guys a repeatable strategy, you know. not It's not a speed run. It's not supposed to be a speed run. And again, disclaimer, this doesn't guarantee you that the first run you do of this, you'll get the DFA. So, it's not clickbait. This is just a farming method for the DFA for the Warlock. So, again, um, because we're on Void Singe, there's nothing really here that can one-shot us. Even the flames, you know, I got hit by a grenade and flames there. So, obviously, that's going to hurt you. Just make sure whenever you lose your, your health... Uh, just do a little bit of running about just to get it back. And make sure that at the boss you've got your six rockets, grenade and super. You need to have those things. There are five snipers in this route. So you have to focus them because although they can't one hit you, they can hurt you. You know, and, and you don't really want, you know, you don't really want. If you're like me, you don't really want to go down in night four runs if you're with your friends or you're on your own. It's a, it's a nightmare. So just remember to be mindful of the snipers. There's We've just killed two. There was one up on the platform to our left and there was one up to the right. There's one way back on the right that you can see once you go around this corner. And then just there's, there's like an opening to two pillars next to each other with like two incendiar incendiarators. I don't know what they're called. You know what they're called. The solar, the flame cabal. So there's that sniper. And just behind there where I'm shooting now, there's like a... A channel between those two pillars. There's a sniper left and right on the other side of there. They're they're kind of like the the ad you really have to watch out for. And as I say, just make sure you've got your rockets, you've got your super, and you you are going to need primary, and you are going to need an energy with uh, ammo when you go in go in here. So, you know, if you if you you could do well to drop some heavy when you get into the actual boss room. Now I have got a a, a clip. I took a couple of my clan mates through a prestige and I kind of, they're not really used to doing this kind of fast kind of kills of bosses. They, you know, they're just used to just getting their nightfalls done. So we got through it and when we got to the end, I set them in the right place, told them what to do and we killed the boss in seconds, as you would expect to. So I might link that at the end of this video so you can see a three-man strategy, which actually would work as a two-man as well if you had either two warlocks two titans or a warlock and a titan it would work pretty easily uh so yep yeah, i've got full heavy i don't need to but once that that queue comes up you've reached your checkpoint so if you died here you would respawn at the boss section i like to kill everything just about everything that i have to that's in my way that i can't just run past uh, and although you can run past this section, I don't want to die, so I I'm going to kill them all. You don't have to kill this orange bar, this major, unless you need heavy ammo, and he will give you heavy ammo. So t you take out the sniper. What I like to do as well with this is I like to jump down to the other side, 
because I get a lot more cover. I think they focus fire if you stay up there too much. Whereas here, you can split them up, you can pick and choose your fights. Uh, and if you do take a lot of heat, you can go into cover, you can run about and get your health. It's just personal. It's just what you're comfortable with. So, we're at the boss, this is the plan. Take out the ads, we're going to jump up on this right hand plate, this pillar, right to the back. We're going to put down the rift. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of wait. He's going to land and then he's going to he'll do like a little movement. And that, that's him. When he does that little movement, he's ready to take, take uh, damage. Now, as you can see, that is, that's pretty close. He's got very little left. So he's not going to need a lot, lot more when we get, when we, uh, when we get into the next room. But even though he's immune in the next room, as you'll see, I, I managed to put damage on him with a rocket. Uh, because when he's up on the back, when he jumps down, he he he'll, he'll take damage for a second before, before he before he disappears. Now what I'm trying to do here is get into a position where I can hit the Minotaur. But I'm ashamed to say I couldn't find him. <laughs> I didn't know where he was. So I'm jumping about trying to get my health to proc. I've got it. There he is. And one rocket does it. There we go. He's down. He's dropped a heavy. We're going to grab this heavy and make it into the next room. And as I say, he should be up at the top at the back. Uh... He should be up at the top at the back, so you just want to one rocket. As you can see, he takes damage. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to try and clear the two snipers first. I don't like going up there when they're there. And because it's just it's just the way I do stuff. There we go. They've dropped. I'm going to get my momentum to proc before I get up there. Which it didn't. <laughs> it should have. Oh, it did. Uh, so what I'm doing, I've put a grenade down. I want him, What the reason why I was jumping up is because I wanted him not to teleport. I wanted him to melee me. And that kept that would have kept him in the same position. I didn't want to fire a rocket too close to myself. So, boss has got nothing. I'm just going to jump in here. He's going to come run that straight line at me. I'm going to hit my one rocket. And that's, I mean, it's, it's a, I don't know. Right, so what would happen here... As you would jump in and get your rewards. It took me 10 seconds longer to jump in and get my rewards. It's not much slower than actually doing a one phase. Thank you very much for watching the video guys. I always appreciate your viewership. The response to my video yesterday was amazing. I hope this one gets something close to it. Take it easy guys. And I will definitely see you in the next one.